I'm so happy to be here today. I can't believe I'm not in Chicago with you. I went to high school there. I know the grounds there pretty well. I am kind of surprised, don't you think, that I'm getting the Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, first of all, because I'm so young, but also because, uh, you know, we have shared the road. I've been marching with NOW for over 50 years, but sometimes I stepped off a little to the left, but apparently you've gotten over it, and I'm really thrilled to be accepting this award at this time in this very, very troubled time. So, you know, I wanted to tell you that the number one question people ask me when I speak publicly is, why are you still doing this? Why are you still caring? How are you still doing this? And it's really quite simple. I want to tell you about, actually, the inspiration of my life, Miss Alice Paul. This is a photograph of her at the Greenleaf Quaker Senior Home. And she got word on January 10th, the day before her birthday, 1977, that Mrs. Ford was going to call. And she was thrilled Mrs. Ford was going to call and wish her happy birthday. And she had the nurses roll the wheelchair over to the phone to make sure the cord would reach. The morning of the 11th on her birthday, they helped her fix her hair and put on some lipstick and she got the call. And uh, Betty called her and said, well, happy birthday, Alice. And Alice said, you know, I really am thankful. Thank you so much. But do you think today you could possibly talk to your husband about the Equal Rights Amendment? Now that's 92, and I'm only 73. I have at least 19 good years on me to go. But she, and Betty said to her, as you can imagine, he's only in office for 10 more days, so I will mention it to him, but I wouldn't hold my breath. So now you know that all of us have a lot more years to go. And um, if I can, I would just like to say a little bit about the circumstances today. We all know how we got here. We all know how we got in this mess. The ruthless rise of the right is pure backlash because of the progress we made in 2008 to 2016. The weapon we need, the weapon we have is actually to unite. We are united by living under the tyranny of inequality. It is time to join with every disenfranchised group, race, climate, uh, guns, abortion, immigration, health care, poverty, housing. The list is limitless. And if we join with them, we will have enough people to be the backlash to under, the undertow of what's happening right now. Take a breath, look around the room. This is your family. We are facing a life and death time. Silos of special interest no longer serve us. We must merge and be the true, actual, factual majority. Let us be the backlash. Take care of today. Give a hand to those who are in fear. Resist being swallowed up in anger. Replace it with love for those who are being crushed. We must rescue ourselves through unity. Organize united in cause because together we are an effective backlash. You are the backlash to our opponent. We are the backlash. So say it with me. Hashtag we are the backlash. Thank you and let's all get to work.